The Roger the Wild Child Show is brought to you by our friends at Prism Design Company. Are you looking for a cool new logo for your business? Do you need some graphics for your new website or blog? Our friends at Prism Design are a premier graphics design company that can handle all your needs. You can find Prism Design Company on Facebook or contact them directly at 618-534-4291. All the great graphics on the Roger the Wild Child Show are brought to you by our friends at Prism Design Company. And now, the hottest new celebrity interview show in the universe. It's the Roger the Wild Child Show. Let's get this party started! Ready, set, go! On the air everywhere. It's the Roger the Wild Child Show! It's time for another exciting edition of the Roger the Wild Child Show with your host, Roger the Wild Child, along with musician, producer, and real estate investor, Darren Sheff, and former Playboy Playmate cover girl and centerfold, Deborah Driggs. Are you ready? Let's do this. Do this. Start right now. It's the Roger the Wild Child Show. And guess what? It's only me and Deb today. <laughs> Driggsy. It's me and Driggsy. Yeah, me and Driggsy. We just kind of told Darren, uh, take the highway for the day. You know what? He's busy in Nashville, and that's okay. You know what? Yeah, he actually but, but... had some stuff going on. He had some stuff going on, and he was not going to be able to be back in time to do the show. And I said, you know what? Take care of what you got to take care of, and we'll see you on Wednesday. So Driggs and I got this. Driggsy is in the house. And guess what? D he will be a little bummed, though. You want to know why? Why? Because Sadie is so fantastic, and he's going to really miss out on meeting her. Yes, he's going to miss out on meeting. And you Sadie. know, my boyfriend Frankie is already like, I want to meet Sadie in person. I'm like, what about me? <laughs> I know he's more of a fan of Sadie Katz than he is of Deborah Driggs. I know, and it made me kind of sad. I was oh. like, Frankie, I thought I was the one you wanted to meet, but you know that's what okay. This is? Yeah, yeah, it's the a little smallest. violent. <laughs> so I know, I know, I know. That's my life. Yeah, no. So anyway, yeah, no. Frankie is, he is so funny. He's like, I wish I was meeting her in person. <laughs> All right, Frankie, I'm going to give you a pass. Sorry, I, don't have my, I don't have my Olipop tonight. Hey, guys, <laughs> Cynthia, Ro Cynthia Renee is in the house. Yep. Uh, we also got Teresa Saban in here. Don Swartz is also in the chat today. So, um, guys, welcome. Welcome, and, welcome. Uh, you know, we have a great show lined up tonight. We got Sadie Katz coming back. Now, Sadie was on our show right after Deborah started as a co-host. And it was like, Sadie, we need to bring you back. And she's like, well, I got an announcement. I'm like, okay, tell me. And she's like, nope. I'm like, Sadie, we friends. Come on. And she's like, no. nope, nope, nope. I got a surprise announcement and I'll announce it on your show but I'm not doing it right now. Amazing. Okay, good. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. And we're going to see her live in person next weekend when we are at the Halloween, Halloween hotness. <laughs> yeah, well, that'll be, that'll be me. <laughs> I'm course. not dressing up. I'm just coming as myself. Yeah, me too. I'm just going to come as Roger the Wild Child. I'm like, yeah. hello. I'll come as Driggsy. I'll have a cigarette. I'm Driggsy. <laughs> You know, I'll be like, uh, you know, on Scooby-Doo when they come and take off the mask. And next thing you know, I'm Bo the producer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bo. And Bo's here. Yes, Bo is working in the chat room, everyone. So feel free to say hi to Bo, okay? And um, speaking of Halloween hotness, um, yes. we do have the guy that's running Halloween hotness. Oh, we have the guy? The, the guy. guy. The we guy the is guy. here. We got the guy. The guy <laughs> is like the, in... the secret undercover guy. We got yes. him. All right. Bring him on. I'm trying to bring him on. Um, he... Oh, he left. He left. We don't have him. 
We don't have him. <laughs> I thought he is he. Oh, there, wait. There he is. He's in a, a different window. He had to log right back in. Okay, so we've got Brian. I, Brian. I got logged out. It, it, it logged me out. Hello. That Hello. happens. These fun things happen when we're live. Yeah. Can, can How you, you doing, Brian? Me? Yes, we can hear you. Pretty good. Can you hear me? Oh, okay, good. Gosh, yes. I, I just I just got booted out like just two seconds ago. So well, if you get booted out, log control. back in. It happens. That's cool. Hi guys, how you doing? Hi. Good, we're good. Just turn down your audio just a little bit so we're not getting the feedback. So if you're connected to the Bluetooth, uh, yeah, if you're connected from the to the Bluetooth on your phone in your car, just go ahead and disconnect the Bluetooth from the car. That's where we're getting the feedback from. There we go. See, I told you. Wonderful. I'm a technical. I'm a technical genius. But is he there or is he? Fr he's frozen again. Well, he is going to talk to us about the Halloween hotness next That's weekend. Gonna be a at the Madame Tussauds, which is next weekend. Okay. Um, on Saturday night. And hang on a second. He is streaming back in. Oh, good. Uh, let's bring him back in. Let's see, which... I've got like 15 different screens of Brian in the back end. Brian, hello. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm not hooked up to any Bluetooth at all. Just It's just my regular phone. That's fine. That's fine. So, Brian, let's go ahead and talk about Halloween hotness. Yes. It's and my what, seventh and year. What, okay. And tell us what it's what it's all about. And I know that this is the seventh year, correct? Yes. Yes. It's uh, benefiting St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Uh, seventh year hosting it. Mostly, it's in actually L.A. or Hollywood area. Uh, a lot of celebrities come by. Red carpet arrivals, media coverage, raffles, giveaways, costume contests. It's all about raising money for St. Jude's. We already hit our pledged goal for the event, but we're not, I mean, obviously we're not going to say, okay, stop donating. We want people to right. still keep on donating. And people can do that on our website, Halloween-Hotness.com. If you want to see who's coming, go to the website. You want to buy a ticket? Go to the website. You want to go to make a donation? Go to the, go website. To the website. Yeah. Uh, and the thing is that we'll have Getty Images there. We'll hopefully have TMZ and Deadline Hollywood and stuff like that. Um, but uh, they're invited, so let's see who shows up. Awesome. Amazing. Amazing. And, and and how did you get involved with this? Well, my ex-wife first lost her sister to cancer, so I held this in her honor at a little club in Hollywood. I mean, basically, like, 200 people said they would show up, about, like, 60 showed up. And I figured I'll never host this event again. It just was a waste of time. Mm -hmm. but I did it in her honor. Then her father got diagnosed and died of cancer. So I said, I'm doing this again, full, full bore. So I rented out the Roosevelt Hotel, the whole second floor, like 500 people showed up. It was fabulous. It was great. Um, and we raised a lot of money for the charity. Uh, but I, I partnered with different charities, American Cancer Society, National Breast Cancer Foundation. Just for the last two, three years, I worked with St. Jude's. Um, but now she's my ex-wife, so... You know, I, 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 I still host the events, even though it's mm -hmm. not their honor anymore. I actually host it for the children because God knows as adults, we screwed up the world as it is. We just need the new age children to do better than we did. Yeah, get, get exactly. And then Deb and I will be there. Also, Sadie Katz will be there. So name some of the celebs that's going to be there. Uh, let's see, Doug Jones from like Hellboy in the Shape of Water, Naomi Grossman from um, uh, American Horror Story, uh, um, uh, Kira uh, Loesch, uh, called Kira Lee Loesch, she's like the bay, she's an Emmy winning, Emmy winning producer, um, Jody Lynn O'Keefe from Prison Break, uh, Kelly Maroney from Chopping Mall and Night of the Comet. Um, and also, I saw Jillian Barbary is going to be there. Jillian Barbary is going to be there. Yes. Uh, also, we're giving a lifetime achievement award to uh, Diane Franklin, who was oh. uh, one of the princesses in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. She was in Better Off Dead. She was in The Last American Virgin. Um, she's a she, she she's a lovely lady, and her and her daughter will be there. This that be, is amazing. There'll be over one hundred and fifty celebrities that will be there. 
at Mount okay. Cassatt's Hollywood Wax Museum. And we, as the Roger the Wild Child Show, is a sponsor for the event, and Deb and I will be yes. there. So if yes. you come out and you're in the L.A. area or Southern Cal area, you can meet Deb and I live and in person along with if everybody you, if else. You buy a ticket. If you buy yes, a ticket. you got to buy no, a ticket, uh, of course. So, don't let them actually come and go, oh, yeah, I'm just going in to see uh, Roger. Yeah. No, no, no. You got to yeah, you gotta donate to St. Jude's. I mean, Children's Hospital, I mean, it's, it's a only, great it's donation. Only, it's only twenty five dollars for a ticket. Yeah, uh, and the thing is that it's a hundred percent of it goes right to St. Jude's, uh, and we have all three floors of the uh, Wax Museum. We actually have the rooftop. We'll have a drone flying overhead, capturing the uh, the video and pictures of um, the venue. Uh, inside, you have over a hundred wax figures. There's different theme. Oh. Oh, did we lose him again? I think so. But that's good. I mean, that gives everybody an idea of what the event is going to provide. And, you know, and the money goes to such a great cause. So, yeah, if you want to come and meet Roger and I, buy a ticket and show up. Yes. Do the deal. It is Saturday night, yeah. the 16th. Red carpet starts at 6.30 p.m. Meet your favorite celebrities. Okay. And okay. uh, we'll be there. All right. Thank you very much, Brian. Oh, he's back on. Hang on a second. Brian, are you there? <laughs> Swear to God, I'll tell you. Third time's a charm, right? Exactly. Um, yeah. so well, that's that's thing, the fun of doing this live is that anything goes. I mean, I, I don't know where I am. Maybe it's a signal here. I don't know. But basically, Halloween-hotness.com. Donate a dollar. Donate $5. Donate $1,000. I don't care. Donate a little bit amount because all these little bit amounts equal a lot. So yes, they do. Do it, do it for the children. Do it because you actually lost a member to cancer. Mm -hmm. Do it because it's the right thing to do. Uh, once again, those donations. You can't come to the event. You should live in the other side of the country, the other side of the world, because this Roger, you know, your your channels all over the place. Uh, people yes. could be in, like in Dubuque or someplace in Bum Hell, Indiana. Um, to make sure that just just donate. Just reaching deep from in here not just your wallet okay yes. perfect so guys, thank, thank you so, you much, so much brian thank you brian see you guys on saturday okay yes. see you on saturday looking forward to it absolutely it's gonna be a, a treat definitely a halloween treat a halloween <laughs> treat <laughs> all right all right where's my buddy frankie even though i'm he's on probation he's on double secret probation ah you've got him in the dog house Deb. i do He's in the doghouse. At the Frankie, the weatherman. Frankie, the weatherman. Who? Frankie. Who? Frankie. Ladies and gentlemen, Frankie McDonald. <laughs> All right. Here he is. Are you ready, I'm Frankie? I'm doing good so far. I heard. Caspi or Wyoming and Cheyenne, Wyoming, they're getting a major winter storm Tuesday and Wednesday. It's going to bring a lot of rain changing over the snow in Caspi or Wyoming. That's going to cause dangerous to drive in treacherous drop conditions on Wednesday. It's going to bring a whole lot of snow. Winds are going to be very strong. It's going to cause blowing drift and snow in the state of Wyoming, including Yellowstone National Park. It's going to bring a lot of snow up in the What? What? Where? Wow. From rain to snow. Temperature is going to rapid, dramatically drop there in Wyoming. That's where Rocky filmed the Russia scene on Rocky IV movie. Oh. Th they filmed the uh, training in the snow scene for the, the, the train to Russian scene. And the Russia scene took place in Wyoming. They didn't do Amazing. it in Russia? He, he, had, he had just pretend to be Russia. Oh, okay. That's pretty interesting. That's a little fun trivia. It is a little fun fact from Frankie. I like they that. One of the scenes in the snow in Wyoming. I love <laughs> it. They tricked us. Yes, they did. You're not in front of the A and W today. I'm home. I was at, I was at the hockey game earlier. Cape Breton Eagles four or two. Monk the Wildcats four. They lost. They tried their best. And over in North Dakota, South Dakota, they're getting high winds and heavy rain Wednesday and. Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Rapid City, South Dakota, Bismarck. Bismarck, 
Fargo, Grand Forks, and even Winnipeg, Manitoba, Brandon, Port H, Prairie, Dolphin, Manitoba, all these places. They're getting lots of wind-driven rain. And uh, there was, there's an alligator in the streets in Florida. <laughs> no way! Where in Florida? Week, because it was so much rain in southeastern United States, the alligator is somebody's yard. No way! Where? Where? What part of Florida? I don't know. And That's in hilarious. California, it's a lot of sound and winds that's going to trigger a lot of fires in California. It's oh, Cobo Sky in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Newfoundland had a powerful storm Friday night and Saturday. Right wind driven rain in St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. And Vancouver had a lot of rain on Saturday. And then over Moscow, Russia, they're getting a lot of rain Thursday. New Zealand is rain this last week. It was beautiful, sunny yesterday in New Zealand. And I was talking to a guy in New Zealand. Wow. Now, Frankie, I saw on your tweet, because I follow you on Twitter, yeah. and you said something about not being from Nova Scotia. And what did you mean? From? I'm from Sydney, Nova Scotia, Canada. I know, but you said you weren't on Twitter. No. Was it a mistake? Mistake. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought maybe you moved. Were you born in Sydney, Nova Scotia? I was born in Sydney, Nova Scotia, Canada. Okay. okay. All right. Well, I got a little confused. I thought, well, maybe he moved and he doesn't want to be from there anymore. You know what, Frankie? You are in the doghouse with Deb right now. A doghouse? That means what about German shepherds? They could be there. They got German shepherds, <laughs> golden retrievers, Labrador retrievers, Kaka Labs. <laughs> so I told Roger that I put you on I put you on I put you on double secret probation. Do you know why? Do you know why? Don't know. Cause cause because you said I wish Sadie, I wish I could meet Sadie in person. Yes. She, she, so now, she got a lot of fans, other fans too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> Oh my God! Yes, yeah, she does, Frankie. She does, and that now got you, and now, and now you apparently are her number one fan. So uh, yay! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they want to meet her in person too. I got. I know. I'm I not know. the only one out there. Them guys. Yeah. You know what's really interesting is that you were on the same first episode with Sadie, and that's how. You guys were both guests on the same episode? Yes. Yep. First episode way back in spring. That's yes. correct. Yes. Way back. I, re I retraced way back my, when? I retraced Long my time mind ago. all the way back to May. Oh, my God. That was so long ago. Look at me. I have aged. My mind traveled <laughs> back in time. <laughs> oh, God. You know what? Oh God, time is My just flying. My brain was in a time machine, traveled all the way back to late May. Time is flying, Frankie. That's the whole point of this conversation. Time so is flying. So, Frankie, one day you'll be able to meet Sadie in person. And then, did you hear about that? And uh, and did you hear about that? The uh, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson will meet you in person, Roger. Really? When? Don't know yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep us posted on that one. Yes, I want to meet the British Prime Minister. Right? Yes, yes. that would be lovely. Quite <laughs> nice. And the Queen of England, Canada, has the Queen from UK too. Oh, that would be very lovely. Very lovely. <laughs> on, a, on the back of the Canadian coin, it has the Queen Elizabeth II picture on it. All right, Frankie. Well, if you want to stay in the green room while your girlfriend comes on, we're bringing Sadie on. You might want to stick around because I know you're her biggest fan now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Frankie. Go ahead Frankie. and wrap it up for us. I'm Frankie McDonald. You're listening to Roger the Wild Child Podcast. Frankie! The Wild Frankie! Oh, you got to love Frankie McDonald. <laughs> Funny. And he really is on double secret probation. I mean, I love him. <laughs> oh, Sadie. I'm like, I sent you a magazine. 
I sent you a magazine. Yes. And, and he still wants to meet Sadie in person. He, he didn't to say he wanted to meet you in he person. Said, no, and she has so many fans. Like, okay, I'm <laughs> chopped liver now. I'm chopped liver. It's okay. Sadie! Sadie! Okay. Oh, you're, you're on mute, mute Sadie. You're unmute on mute. yourself. She's like, of course I am on mute. <laughs> Hi guys. Hey. Hi, <laughs> I'm Frankie's biggest fan too. So you can tell him that. Well, he'll be thrilled. Hey, let's he'll do this real so quick. Hang on a second. Hang on. Okay. Frankie. Hey, Sadie, I met you way back in May of 2021 on my very first appearance ever on the Roger the Wild Child show, and the other that's before the other guy left. Yes. Well, <laughs> you know what? I, I saw you on YouTube. You're like a super famous person. Yeah, yeah. he has like a yeah. million followers. I know. I need some of those followers. You're the famous person. Right? Exactly. I That's what I said. <laughs> I said he's got like a trillion followers. I have two. And I got a TikTok <laughs> account, and I got... 7.4 million views on my tornado siren video. <laughs> you are funny. You're you are so funny. That's why, Frankie. You deserve <laughs> and you deserve all of it. All of it. What do you what do you do? Like, what's your thing that you like to spend money on? I do my weather reports and things like that. Yeah, but what do you what do you do with money you earn? Do you collect action figures or toys or? I got Frankie action figures and my book, Be Prepared to Frank Down Guide to Life, Weather, and Everything. I love it. I want it. He has a book. He has a book. And by the way, I wrote a blog for Frankie called Be Prepared. What's the book called? Be Prepared? Be Prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. Yeah. And everything. That's my book. What's it about? It talks about autobiography, about my childhood days and my weather reports and my past weather reports and going all the way back to when I was an infant baby. Wow. So you've always been in love with weather? Yes, yeah, so when I was a little boy. And he predicted the earthquake back in 2010 in Southern yep. California. 2016. What? I just did a video, severe earthquake warning for California in September 2010. I was on the TV show Tosh.0 season 2, episode 13, yes. 11 years ago. Then... Back in 2016, I did a video about massive earthquake that hit New Zealand anytime soon on Friday, October 21st, 2016. Three weeks later, 7.8 magnitude earthquake actually happened in New Zealand. I was all over the news thanks to that. Wow. <laughs> I can't even remember my wow. birthday. <laughs> Sadie, what are we drinking back there, girlfriend? You've got what's okay, happening? I look like a I look like an alcoholic here, but I didn't want to show that my kitchen's a little messy. Because I just uh -huh. came home. And then our living room, you know, this is a weird screen because it doesn't flip me, like mirror right. me. So I'm kind of, and my computer is freaking massive. But, like, yeah, I couldn't do anything. So I'm like, there I am. Looking you know, like somebody's it. celebrating a birthday on Wednesday. Who would that hey. person be? Is Frank that a Lee? Is, is, is that a Libra lady in the house? Are you a Libra too? I'm a Sag. Oh, you're a perfect Sag. We talked about this. Life. You yeah, are a perfect Sag. I'm I'm a Libra and my birthday, either people love me during it or they're like, did we just celebrate your birthday? Because I really milk it as long as I can. Now, what is the actual what is the actual day? October 13th. I'm December 13th. I'm April 13th. Oh, stop it. <laughs> now I was born on Friday the 13th. So was I. Stop it. Roger? Roger? No, no, no. I, was, I think I was like on a Thursday or something like Stop that. Stop it. Now that is just too much. Of Friday the 13th? I was on Friday Eve, I guess. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. Mine was Friday the 13th. And uh, it was an important day for the world, right? Friday it was. Like, are and we people, lucky? We're so lucky. Are we lucky? And 13. there's another birthday on October 19th. His name is Jack Casey, a fellow running the Base Guy show. Great. <laughs> and he's October 19th. When's your birthday, Frankie? April yeah, 24th, when's yours? 1984. When is it? April 24th, 1984. So what is that, Aries? Are you an Aries? Taurus. 
Taurus, Tor you're wow. the bull. Tauruses the do well. They're their own person. Yes. yes. They go for it. They yeah. do. They're All super right. strong and powerful. Damn right. Ah, oh, Bo. <laughs> yeah, Bo, 20, Bo, Bo, are you Friday the 13th too? No, I'm National Weed Day. No. Oh, 420? Yes, ma'am. There we go. This Look at is this. our producer, Bo, Sadie. Hi, Bo. Oh, how you so, doing? Look at this. This is instead of wine. I, I'm not getting paid for this, but I thought you might appreciate this. Deborah, awesome. like, I don't know. Like, I don't normally like to, to eat weed or anything like that, but this is infused and it's supposed to be like an alternative to wine with no hangover. Yeah. But yeah. wait, what is it called? I can't see it. It's I. It's can. Uh, oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It? yes, it's real. You have to order it. It I got, got yeah. delivered. Yes, I haven't tried it yet. Do you like it? I don't know. This is my first time because I I didn't have any wine here, and I'm like, I'll just try a little bit. And I'm on this crazy diet. I'm like literally on this crazy diet, and I thought I got the light, but um. I got one, so I'm being very careful about drinking it. You know who promotes? Mm -hmm. You know who promotes that is Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, does she? Yes. Yeah, Do you drink this and it makes you mean? Is it no, like, it you um, you drink it and it it literally it's like smoking a joint. You get a little buzz. But it goes away. I that was my attempt to make fun of Ellen DeGeneres for. <laughs> <laughs> that was my. A my for effort day. for you, Sadie. Hot. A for effort. A for effort. Hey, hey, Roger, did you hear about Mike the can named Michael Mahone? He does Facebook ratings. Yes. I, I don't know. know. What about him? He's a nice guy. He does sports and things like that. Michael Mahal does? Yes. He talks about the football sports. Uh, talks about the Facebook rankings. Oh, okay. Okay. He was the producer on Best Party to Hell with uh, Tara Reid and... That now he's been producing everything, like a billion movies since. He's in Vegas. Nice. Oh. So, I, I mean, he probably gets well, some. Well, well, if you Hi. like, if Bye, you Bo. like. By the way, if you like Bill Murray as much as I do, and you've got to you. But I'm like in love with Bill Murray, and I'm in love with really the fascination of Bill Murray. So Sadie, when I watched your movie, when I watched your documentary, I was so happy watching it. It made me so happy because I was like, oh my God, it really depicted who Bill Murray is and like the quest to meet Bill Murray and what that feels like. And I was like, oh my God, I love this movie. So I haven't talked to you since. Thanks, I watched the I watched the movie as well when uh, after the interview. I'm like, I have to check it out too. And for the people who are watching right now who don't know what we're talking about, it's called the Bill Murray Experience. Um, it's uh, written and produced and um, acted by uh, Sadie Katz. And also, um, she's got a lot of projects going on as well. Yeah. And but you know what? That move, that show, that movie was amazing. I, you so know, so good. So good. I thoroughly enjoyed it, but you know, again, I'm a big fan. And if you're a big fan, like I am, you will thoroughly enjoy this movie. And Frankie, you need Thank to watch you. Bill Murray. It Experience. actually got me teary eyed at one point. I was actually like, is she going to meet him? <laughs> I cry when I watch it. You know, I didn't really know what I was doing, obviously during it. And we had this first act and there was all this footage and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. And it was kind of amazing because I like as as and I share about this in the film, but I was kind of learning, but I was so obsessed. It's like a funny thing because I watch it and it's like a yearbook of that time in my life. Yeah. And it's like I had some people go like, well, why don't you do why don't you keep searching for him? And I'm like, but that was my Bill Murray experience. Like mm -hmm. That's, but I love when anyone says they like it because it really was, you know, it's not like a perfect film, but for me it was perfect because it came out at least the way it was I, your story. You know, yeah. And it, I thought there was like, you know, you do these movies, Deborah knows this, where you're either being like 
you know, sexy or scary or, you know, and yeah. it was like a chance to just like put positive, nice vibes out there. And I feel like it does connect with some people who are just nice humans. Yeah. Yeah. And then other people are like, I hated it. But, but you know. Oh, bah humbug. Bah humbug. <laughs> Jimmy Starr's birthday is October 15th. Teresa's so sweet. I love how you guys have this interface. Yes. I know. It's all the right. Yeah, so we great. interact with our audience. It's really cool. And they're the regulars. They come in and they comment. We post their comments up here. So it's a lot of fun. I like that. Doing a podcast is really hard. I really put a lot of effort in mind, but I got so busy. And I kept getting, like, YouTube kept dinging me. And I was a little bit like, you know, I didn't do this show live. And I'm like, how do people... This is a tremendous amount of work. Mm -hmm. yes. I bravo to you guys. Thank I, you. I got like, you know, I'm very stubborn. I never want to, like, if I say I'm going to do something, it's like I, I have all these feelings. Like if I don't finish it or if I quit, people will be like, Sadie's full of crap. But like at a certain point I went, I really like this, but I don't think I like it like, like this, you know, I'm like, I don't like it enough to like show up and do it by, I like have to do it on my own and put it together on my own. And yeah. And I really wanted to talk about current events. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Do you have a surprise so I really us. wanted to do is like a, and I, every time I say something, people are like, Sadie, you cannot, did you guys watch the Chappelle show? Did you guys see it yet? No. No. It's so good. The new Chappelle. He has a new stand-up routine. Oh, he's no. Really. I haven't seen it yet. I have not seen it yet. Uh -uh. I mean, he's Dave Chappelle. He gets away with saying whatever he wants. We're like, you know, if Roger... I think Roger might be able to get away with saying things. Deborah definitely could probably get away with saying... There is no filter on Deborah's mouth. There is no. 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 I tell mm -hmm. I tell people all the time, like you know, what 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 what's the worst thing that can happen? I know. No. But don't you think like these young, like I'm gonna be sound really old. My birthday is coming up, but these young people who are like, you can't say certain words, and so no. I'm like, what are you talking about, you big babies? It's a it's like a word, and or people who like really react to yeah. being on the internet. I'm mm -hmm. like, then just turn it off. Like <laughs> right. if I write all the reviews or things or like every time I get a penis picture on Instagram, <laughs> I'm like, everyone needs to sit down You need to sit down with your kid and say, that's not real. So if you want to play it, it's a video game. And if yeah. you're losing the video game, disconnect. And then, but people don't do that. They're going to, right? I mean, these young people have to grow up. These generation, what are they? Zenennials? What are they? Generation Z. No, it's more. <laughs> Hold on. I haven't really drank this yet. But I don't it's, know. It's, it's her pre birthday celebration. I love it. This show's going to like, you're going to see like the decline happen now. Well, I don't so, think like, you're going to be like, thing. what were we talking about? I know. Well, that's. Right, the thing. But before you drink that, oh. you have to tell us. Yeah, you have Roger a surprise. Said, you have a surprise announcement. We're dying. I know. And I'm like, am I allowed to because of Jimmy? Um, I have two surprise announcements. The first one I just found out yesterday. So I did this movie in Italy uh, called Megan. And it's like a couple of years ago before COVID and, you know, for the world went nuts. Yeah. Um, and I did it. It's, I did it in Italy. I loved it. The script is gnarly. So do you guys notice? I don't, my fiance says I open my eyes like this all the time. And it's really weird. And I'm seeing myself do the same. Anyway, <laughs> so I don't know if you know the actor Randy Wayne. But he's fantastic. And if you saw him, you'd be like, oh, I've seen him in a billion things. But my character is in a cabin in the woods. But it's a beautiful cabin because it's in Italy. It's like 5,000 years old. Of course, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's like stylized, just so gorgeous. It's shot so well. And um, I'm hiding there with my sister because she was raped by a bunch of people and it became like media fodder. So I took her and hit her and, and she's blind um, from this experience. So 
when um when randy comes by he's like a hiker in the woods and he needs some water i do not trust him and i decide that like most men i have to get my revenge and that's when it, it's a little bit hard candy um <laughs> meets it's pretty crazy let's i mean it's probably i played a lot of crazy things it's pretty crazy so it hasn't been I mean, I'm I'm very much the bad person in it. And it's very R. So if you watch it, be warned. Um R for raunchy? R for what? It's very serious. Like I it's not like I'm <laughs> glamorous, but I do sexually punish it, but it's you know, it's it's Italy. They're very artistic with things. <laughs> but the movie's crazy and I watched it and I'm like, oh that's amazing. Oh, yes. So How it's long? just, it just came out yesterday, or it's coming out. So they are doing pre-sales. It's being released by Gravitas Ventures. And it's doing pre-sales right now for like $6.99. And then it comes out, I believe, October 12th, right before my birthday. Oh, nice. I kind of like, I know. I, Deborah, as in, as in two, I know it's yeah, Tuesday. I know. Tuesdays. I didn't do any like pre-press or i didn't hear about it um or anything i just happened to be on instagram and someone tagged me and they wrote does sadie uh sadie obviously likes playing these psychosexual characters and i like clicked on it and i went oh that's my movie i do like playing psychosexual <laughs> where were you in italy which part of italy okay i was in milan no, no. Uh, we're, I was by Portofino, um, about an hour away, and I keep wanting to say Genoa, but I think that's a yeah. different. Okay, it's a Genoa. I can't believe yeah. I remember that. And yeah. then, I mean, I so I went there, and they wanted me to get used to, um, you know, the time change and everything. So I, they bring me, and I'm in. I'm trying not to curse. I'm in like a cottage. And everywhere is a cottage, and it's like rolling hills. And there's one day I'm I'm opening my my windows, and it is Italy is like not a disappointment at all. Have you guys been? I haven't. No. Many, but, many, uh, many, many times. Oh God! I like you're there. It's you know on vacation sometimes you're like, you know, you're ready to go home just so you can be familiar with everything. Italy like turned my, it, it, like I was so calm there. I realized I'm, I'm like listening to the birds and everything. And then I'm walking home and, you know, I had a lot of Italian table wine. I'm walking through like a forest. So I'm kind of scared out of my mind and I'm on the phone. And all of a sudden I see all these lights in front of me and I'm like, what is happening? They were lightning bugs, but I'd never seen them. And, and then I'm about to go up to my like little trail and I hear like, bah! That was a very bad impression of a lamb. But, uh, <laughs> give me a lamb impression. I don't know what it was. Yeah. I realized it was a wild animal. It was like a lamb. It wasn't even that. Then I wake up in the morning and I have to cross this bridge. And I look over and there's goats everywhere. So I'm scared and I don't want to. I'm a big chicken. So I'm scared and I don't want to cross. <laughs> there's like 12 goats. And then I wait 20 minutes, don't know what's going on. And then Randy, Wayne, and Greg Travis come out and they're like, they're mowing the lawn, Sadie, because they actually use. Them. Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, will someone hold them back so they don't trample me? And everyone. It's like they're not trampling you. They're eating their breakfast, you dummy. Uh, but God, that was like a crazy experience. And I have, I was li living like this dual thing because I was in with the greatest crew in the most beautiful, stunning place doing the most awful things. Yes. Like, there's a scene, I'm going to give the whole thing away, but yeah. I'm kicking someone in the lake and they're bleeding and I'm like, grabbing them by the hair and dragging them through and, you know, screaming and it's like nuts. And I'm in the middle of like a real lake in Italy and it's, it's crazy. It's freezing, mm. freezing. <laughs> there's no, there's no cold bump on that, but yeah, it was a weird experience. I loved it. That's amazing. I, okay. 
Where are we going to be able to watch this movie? Uh, I, you know what? I don't know a lot about it. I'm thinking iTunes, but I'm guessing it will come out on, you know, Amazon and all these streamers. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, it's like weird. I, I wrote to Gravitas, but it was the weekend. And I said, well, if you have information, I can share about it. It was so, it, I thought it wasn't going to come out. So I'm doubly excited because I hope this doesn't make me sound like a terrible person, but I didn't think my son was going to graduate because he was being <clears throat> a teenage boy. And I was super angry because he's going to. Oh, you have one of those too? Oh God, he's doing so well right now. <laughs> but we kept arguing about it. He's like a high school diploma doesn't mean anything. But and I went, if you don't graduate, you're like a dumb monkey. Like <laughs> you're out of your mind. He said. So then um what happened was uh I ended up get, I had this film and they changed the days and I went and I missed my son graduating. Oh what? no! No, like that. But he graduated with like ten kids. It wasn't like this massive. He he went to school. I'm like he didn't care about it, but it's I felt like horrible because he ended up going to like a night school. Mm -hmm. you know, and so he's only going to school a couple days, and like everybody went that I could get in my family, and I was just riddled with guilt about it, but. You know, as you guys know, when you book something, you book it. Yeah, it's it is. It's in, it's in stone. You got it. You got it. You you know, got to do it. Yeah. Well, and we're gonna see you next weekend. Yes, we are. What are you wearing? I don't know. You look like you should be a kitten. Like, <laughs> you a sexy kid, like a little pussy. Should I yeah, be a little like, pussy cat? You know, <laughs> But I mean, you do. You have like these really lovely. Like I could see. Well, what are you? Yeah. What are you gonna be? Uh, I am gonna be a cyborg. Ooh. Like a cyber robot person, chick. I yeah. just—it's really hard the older you get. I it's know. Sexy for Halloween, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like I've already done like sexy bunny. I've already done. Sexy I know. Bunny. Yeah, Cinderella, but, and so I'm like, it's sort of like been played out. I would rather a costume be kind of either just playful, like a little cat or a little devil, and it's not too much, or you know, uh, fun or unexpected or funny. But I feel this pressure because it's Halloween hotness. I'm a guest, Roger. What are you wearing? I don't know. I mean, I was just gonna come as me, you know, I don't know. Um, you should be Willy Wonka. <laughs> hey, is it true they're doing another Willy Wonka? Did I, I, just, they? I hope so. I love it. That would be oh, fun. Really? You're, so you love remakes? Do you love I, 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 You know, here's the thing. I do sometimes. I didn't like the remake with Johnny Depp. No. There's just no way. Gene Wilder was just so brilliant in that movie. Oh, you can't, yeah. um, you can't do, you know, replace him. I mean, Gene Wilder is just uh, amazing. Yeah. Well, that, okay, that but wait, wait, wait. Sadie, you have another announcement. You said you I have two. Do. Okay, I'm so excited about it. And I'm not, I don't think I'm officially allowed to. But you know what? I promised. So I'm very, very excited because I'm working with Jimmy Starr, actually. And we just got um, an Eileen Shapiro. Forgive me for not saying that. We just got this uh, film called The Beast Inside Financed. We're shooting in December. But what's very exciting about this, I mean, besides the fact, like, it's a fact, it's an exorcism movie. And I just, I'm very in love with the script that's being, that was, I, I did the story by with a good friend of mine who's a director, Jim Towns, who's very, very freaking talented. But yeah. the very cool thing is, who um, financed it is Chuck Billy from Testament. Really? So for a metalhead, this is a really exciting um, treat because they're going to write an original song from the movie wow. um, just for the movie with the music video. And Chuck's also has a very serious role. It's not a cameo. It's a very cool role. So, you know, for me, I, I made a a pledge that I would start working more on producing my own things. So I 
could kind of control the content. Right. You know? Does that, it, you know what I'm saying? Like both mm-hmm. of you guys, there's, there's people when you do something and you're excited to take part, but you're like, you like, how do you not put in, I'm a little like, uh, uh, OCD about things being mm-hmm. perfect. So I'm like, well, you can do a low budget film and uh, you know, a, a pretty low budget film and have it still be good, you know? So I'm really excited for the opportunity to get to, cause I wanted to produce more and more. So this one is really like my baby. It's going to help you open some doors. Yeah. Yeah, I've produced a few things. I'm a writer. So yeah. those things have gotten made. But this one, I was like kind of adamant that I wanted to do something where I was like the first say and the last say. And, um, you know, that's what I really wanted to be able to do. And so that's like a big deal. I don't know if right. you guys had. It was weird to make goals last year, right? Because you just didn't know where the world was heading. So I just kind of kept pushing. (laughs) Yeah. Good for you. That's amazing. And you know, like you said, it gives you creative power to, to do what you want to do. And I love that you're uh, working with Jimmy Starr and Eileen Shapiro. They're great. They're amazing people. Absolutely. And we're, and we'll meet Jimmy next Saturday too. With uh, with his husband, with his uh, husband, Ron Russell. So. You guys haven't met them. No, we have not met them. No. You know how I became, they're like my closest, dearest friends. I like, I, and I'm not saying that in a, in a Hollywood way. Like we've, we've had vacations with them and you know, uh, we've hung out with them a lot. So I met them by doing their show. And by the fourth time I was on, Ron was like, you have to come out to Palm Springs. And then I met Ron and Jimmy visiting on a set in the middle of nowhere. And then we came to Palm Springs and had dinner at their house. And it was like, I knew them forever. Like you guys, when we meet. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah. What's up? Some people yeah. you click with like that. And um, yeah, I was lucky that. That's that so cool. They ended up becoming good friends of mine. And they drive to LA. You know, you have friends that won't drive from like, they won't go to Culver City to see you and you don't see them for like six years. Ron <laughs> and Jimmy drive from Palm Springs like constantly. They're coming to my birthday like all the time. That's amazing. And you were telling me earlier on the phone that your birthday is going to be at a pretty badass bowling alley. Yeah. Deborah, if you're around, are you in L.A. right now? I will be back. I will be back on Tuesday. When is your when is your oh, thing? Please come Wednesday. So have you been to Highland Park Bowl? Where tell me where it is. Um Highland Park. <laughs> <laughs> um okay. Is it is it in the valley? Is it uh, in Hollywood? Uh, Highland Park is I think East LA. I I, I, yeah. I, I I have not been there. I don't know where Highland Park is to like tell you, but I, I'm pretty sure it's like I'm in. I love it. I am the worst bowler, so I'm going to come just so you can see just what a really <laughs> bad, bad bowling person looks like. That's me. Okay. Well, here's the thing, right? <laughs> this isn't your normal bowling alley. Like you're going to walk in. I should get paid for promoting them because I'm so obsessed. <laughs> you walk in, and it was a 1930s bowling alley, and it's gigantic. So it's mostly a bar and restaurant, and then okay. a very front. So it's just this massive building that's been lovingly, painstakingly, painstakingly restored to the 1930s, and it is maybe one of the prettiest bars in Los Angeles. Oh, nice. Okay. Yes. So I mean, I like to bowl. I've had a couple bowling birthdays i feel like it's a we're only renting the lanes from like nine to ten so everyone can get there at seven seven thirty eat drink be merry uh hopefully get very drunk and tell and everyone tell me how great i am for my birthday Isn't that what happens? i will tell you how great you are saturday night when i see you at yes. madame tussauds I, I wish I could come a few days earlier i would have but unfortunately i don't fly until friday night so but I will definitely, you yeah, know. but to Sadie, definitely text me. I'm going to send it to you and you can bring whoever, but I will tell you, it is like, I'm so excited because so many people are like, oh, you're going like, oh, cool. Bowling birthday. Like, that's great. You're a grown up. And when they walk in, they're going to go, of course, because I tend to like, 
I, I'm someone who wears sequins way more than I ought to. Like everything sequins. And I actually am not wearing sequins for my birthday. <laughs> I'm a lady. <laughs> um, <laughs> a lady who's about to cough. <laughs> Excuse me. Here. Talk about me quickly. Okay. So hey. I when I go out, yes. I'm gonna wear I what am I gonna wear? You know, October's that funny month because it's like it's not cold yet. Mm -hmm. And in California, I don't know if I pull out the sweaters or what. Like today, I kept taking my sweater off, putting it back on. October's that funny month of like, do I pull out the long boots? Do I pull out the sweaters? Yeah. Yeah. What am I wearing? Am I sexy or am I warm? Well, I think you look sexy in sweaters. Like, Thank you. You're, you're I agree like, with uh, Sadie on that. Right? Like, there's not a picture you take that's not stunning. Like, Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I'm like, uh, and, and you never look like you have too much makeup on or, you know. Yeah. I don't no. really like, I don't like the whole makeup thing. I've just never. See, uh, honestly, I'm, a, I'm all, I'm yeah. all about the natural beauty. You know, I want, you I know. It. Are you have blue eyes? Are your eyes blue or hazel? Me? Roger. I know yours are. Oh, I'm, I'm hazel. Uh, my eyes are hazel. He's a, well, your eyes are like a, a gray, they're really something right over there. Hot pants. Roger's like in heaven right now. He's like the star with two <laughs> girls. Usually there's two other men on and he's like, he's in heaven right now. This is night like, night. he's like, God, this is the best night ever. Thank you, Darren. <laughs> Thank you, Darren, for taking the night off. Yeah, right? what's, why is Darren gone? Oh, he had... He had some stuff going on here to take the he's night in off. nashville and he has a business in nashville and you know when you know we've upped our show now to twice a week and so it's oh. now like it's more consuming so yeah so he had stuff to do it's sunday and he's with his family and that's okay like i said roger's in heaven yes hey uh sadie um are you going to be in town on sunday night uh next weekend i think i will be uh May I'm crossing my fingers that I will be, but do right, tell. Because, because we are doing our show live one week from tonight in Beverly Hills from Lux Studios and on Rodeo we, Drive. So I want to give you and Miles a personal invite if you guys want if he's in town and have you be in our audience um, for our live show. I love that. Yeah, and it's going to be fun. yeah because we we're only allowed how many people, Roger? Twenty. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys should come and it's, it, you'll love it. I'll introduce you to Candace. She owns the, the whole Lux media. And so she has studios that we can rent. And so we're going to do a live show uh, oh, from the studio God. and you'll love who we're interviewing. We're interviewing Gigi Lavaggi Grazer who wrote the movie Stepmom. She's written like three books. You know who she is. She's a producer, writer, mm -hmm. and um, you know, a, Lots, lots of really fun books, but yeah, she was one of the co-writers of Stepmom with Julia Roberts and Susan Sarandon. I love and then that. we'll have Bo McDowell. He's on the East Coast, but he's in the semifinals of Last Comic Standing. So it'll be a fun show. So definitely, yeah. I'm gonna and surprise, you know, just surprise stuff going on. And so yeah, mm -hmm. we'll mention that you're in the audience, and we'll have fun. I love that. Congratulations. I feel like. So the last time I was on the show, you guys were really in the beginnings of yes. it. Yes. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm always impressed because it's like better and better and you guys are adding more things and, and congratulations. I know it's Thank like you. Thank you. a commitment. It's, it, it's a huge commitment. It's a lot of work. And yeah, it's gone through, you know, it's got it's like growing pains, you know, as you mm -hmm. as you start to kind of go over certain thresholds, things change. And so yeah, so I think I think it's been and eh, we got we got on the 75 best podcast list. So we're number 59. Oh my yeah. god. Yep. How From great. Hollywood Digest. Thank you. Yeah. So we thank oh, them and god. yeah, we now tag them and everything because we just felt like, oh my God, that was pretty cool. Yeah. And you know, the hardest thing is getting like, you know, getting not only your guests, but having you all get together because you have yes. to trust that the people, you know, I was actually supposed to do my show with another um, 
actress, but that was more into journalism. And so we created the show. I never intended to do it by myself. And mm -hmm. I was so bummed because the whole time we planned it. And then the day before we were supposed to shoot, she was like, oh, I decided I don't want to do it. And I went, this is yeah. a talent show mm -hmm. when we're in grade school. So, you know, kudos to you guys for having yeah. each other's back. Yeah, I mean, I it's, a, yeah. Yeah, I, I started the show back in March and we're six months in. I've gone through a lot of changes with the show, but a lot of enhancements, a lot of upgrades, you know, and that's just part of business, though. You know, you got to treat this like a business and, you know, things are going to change. And if it don't work, it don't work. And, you know, people are going to come and go. And but th at the end of the day. It's about the show and moving forward and our dreams and building that vision. And, you know, our goal is in a year from next summer, we want to be in Nashville and we're going to build a set with a live studio audience. And I want to sell this show to another network. So I've got some long-term goals with the show. I love that. I, I'm yeah. We're talking about moving to Knoxville. I think everyone's sort of like, well, and we, I was in, uh, this time last year, I was in Tennessee for three weeks looking at property. I looked at Franklin, Brentwood, uh, Leapers Fork, and fell in love with the area. And I have uh, so many friends from Cal. Gigi, actually, her guest, uh, her and her husband used my realtor, and they bought a place in Leapers Fork. And a lot of my friends are leaving L.A. I'm mm -hmm. actually up north right now. I've been looking at property up north out of LA, but I don't even think I just, I don't even think I want to be in California, even just being up here. Like I love it, but it's still California at the end of the day. I know it's such a bummer, but yeah. I think it's kind of like, um, you know, you didn't really have any options as an actress before to move. And so now you actually like, because everything's over zoom. Nashville's <laughs> going to be Hollywood 2.0. Yeah, well, Knoxville. I think we're thinking of Knoxville, and then I'll be close to Nashville, but also close to right. But I'm just saying Nashville in general. Everybody's moving there. Oh. Um, yeah, and and it's so close to Atlanta, and Atlanta is does so much filming now. There's mm -hmm. so many things filming in Atlanta. So for me, it just feels like I can do this, and I can do my writing from anywhere. And so I feel like it's time to time to leave. Be smart. Tennessee is an awesome state. I agree. Right. It's beautiful. Oh. Yep, it is. Teresa is like, yeah. Uh, uh, I love this. Like Cliff with the dogs. Um, this is so <laughs> cool. I, yeah, I'm kind of excited about the idea, but it makes me like I'm an L.A. girl, like super, super. But I'm born and raised. I get it. And I, I want somewhere to put the, uh -huh. soul, like, the Buffy. This is this is the best thing, and also um, <laughs> she needs a lot of attention. Um, yeah, but I do want to try it out. Today is the first time I've had a callback, like in person, in a couple of years. So, like I'm normally just zooming for auditions, and yeah. she'll be a lot of out of LA. Like my project's going to be in LA, but I'm always excited to shoot on location and not be in LA. Yeah, right. I, yeah, I feel the same way. Anytime somebody offers me something outside of LA, I'm like, I, yeah, I'm interested. Yeah, it's a free vacation, if anything. Yeah. And I, it's nice not to have to like go back and think I have to do laundry or anything. I like yeah. in my hotel room and just, <laughs> leave, you know, my call sheet, my sides, and like literally my only job is to go and say my lines and, and be in the moment and stay sort of in the realm of a character and, yeah. and you know those important things but it's so difficult when you're like having to fight traffic back from the set you come home you did a night shoot and you have to deal with your house you know yeah mm -hmm. yeah totally it's or amazing yeah we have a couple of exciting things so i might see you on your birthday yes Roger and I are going to see you for this uh, beautiful fundraiser on Saturday night. And now you've got me motivated to come in a costume. Yes. <laughs> and then you have to come to the live. You, well, you should come anyway because you should see the studios and you should see what what my friend Candace has done. It's amazing. It's right there on Rodeo Drive. Are you doing it Sunday, Sunday night, night, five p.m. Pacific. 
Oh gosh, it's so funny because it's so bright out. I forget it's considered nighttime. <laughs> I know it might be dark though by next Sunday. I know. It, yeah. We're gonna have a lot of. It's gonna be really sunny, sunshiny, and like pool weather. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking of renting a room at the Roosevelt for Saturday night. So if um, after Halloween hotness, because that's right about right across the way from the Roosevelt Hotel. Okay. okay. Uh, then you know we wanted to have an after party or yes you know then we can go there like, okay like, don't this. tell everybody right so keep, keep it on the low down <laughs> shh. not I'm that so this show's not going funny. worldwide right now but shh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, they're pictures but i like i love it that Roosevelt, I get a kick out of it. And it's it so is fun, yeah. It's so like glamorous and, and silly and like Halloween hotness, I think, is done at eleven. Okay. It's so I mean it's probably later than that. I can't remember. But you know, you have everyone there and then it's loud and then you get to say, Come over here and let's have fun. And there's like my favorite, even though I'm on the super keto thing, which I I guess 42. Oh, guess what? That is one of the best eating plans. I hate to use the word diet, but uh, the the keto diet, uh, my body loves that diet. Really? Oh, good. Loves, 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 loves the way, because it, what, really the best thing about it is you're taking all the sugar completely out. Sh sugar and carbs are out. Yeah. And and sugar is just so, it you you notice the difference right away, right away. Once your body gets in ketosis, you don't want to ever really go back because you're like, this you feels. Do you pee on a stick? Do you pee on a stick? I, I, have the, I do the blood. Oh my God, you're serious. Yeah. I think that would be interesting, but I. Yeah, you can, it's, it doesn't hurt. You just prick your finger and then you put it on a strip and it tells you whether or not you're in ketosis. But it's so easy. I mean, you have the same thing for breakfast every day. Do you have the bullet egg. coffee? I do the bullet coffee. I do and the eggs, and eggs, bacon, and avocado. Every that's it for breakfast. Same thing. And I don't usually eat breakfast, so I have that for lunch. So it makes it so easy. And then for dinner, I have a salad with salmon or something. It's an easy way to yeah. to eat. What do you eat there throughout the day? Is like a snacking. There's no snacking. There's like I have an app that you can write down everything. The thing is. I'm, I'm, I'm having to lose weight for this project and because, you know, I'm, I'm possessed by a demon. So I think <laughs> that you have to have a certain fragility and I'm, it's not that I'm a big bone person by any means, but I'm five, seven. So like, so I'm, how, how tall are you, Deborah? I'm five, six. Okay. Cause I'm like your model. You're probably taller. Um, <laughs> which in, in Hollywood, anything above like five, two. So, yeah. you know, you're not like this tiny petite thing um as much as other actors and like so i'm really worried about it's funny you don't want to say this but like i'm really worried about losing weight so the amount i've been eating hasn't been you know that huge but yeah uh tonight i'm gonna have like chicken wrapped in bacon turkey yeah bacon. even though it's supposed yeah. to be like bacon but i don't like it but you know it's so you still you do have a chance to like actually eat i've done i've done water fast that were really interesting but where i did nothing but water that's all i i had for four days and there i actually on the second day i have more energy than i'd had in months yeah uh, have you ever done like a water fast yeah well i just did 13 days in the desert of no food it wasn't just water though i mean i had herbal mate and i had you know electrolytes and carrot juice and but there was no food oh my just, god yeah so i did that for 13 days and that oh my god was so it I'm, was it cheaper or were you staying somewhere that was more expensive no I, I i go i go once a year to a place called we care in the desert oh. and it's a total detox and um yeah it's really it's just good for your cell rejuvenation really as we get older we need those we need our cells to rejuvenate a little quicker. It's hard to do when we're putting all the toxins. So I like to take it all away for a, a good chunk of time once a year. So I go to this place and I've been going since 2006 and I, I find the results to be outstanding. So 
Wow. I mean, yeah. to not eat for 13. I, I thought that the days were pretty easy. And but the problem is medication I was on was like not having any food to like yeah. absorb it. So I went, I, I should like eat something. But yeah, by the second day, I felt really good. By the fourth day, I thought I could do it. But I don't know. Two weeks takes a whole whole other thing I, I admire that though i think if i were at like a, a resort or something with a friend getting massages it yeah. might be a little bit easier and you know because you got a support system there yeah it would still be too like i don't think i could do it honest like i don't like to do something unless i i had said like i was going to do the body pass for three days yeah it, it would still be too like i don't think sorry <laughs> that's, that's me retweeting our show right now because <laughs> I'm, I'm like behind the ball. But anyway, yeah, looks Sorry. like we have a nice following tonight. So that's fun. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, yeah we like that. Yes. We love, we love, and I love that we always have these same people that come and they just, they're like family now. Exactly. And yeah. And then now we have guests that come back and hang, and hang with us, you know, and you well, know. I will tell you, Sadie, I had to put Frankie on probation because I thought I was his favorite. <laughs> and now it's all about you. It's all about Sadie. Shiny okay. and new. Shiny and You're new. shiny and new. And I was like, all right, all right. He'll, <laughs> he'll be back. I'm, all right. I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm sure when Frankie Lee is able to leave Canada, he'll be traveling to L.A. to meet Sadie. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And he'll know the weather. He'll know the weather. As he'll, yes. he'll, he might squeeze me in. He might squeeze me in. We'll see. Well, we'll do it too for him. There we go. Well, he's that got your fun. magazine, so he can just look at you every day. He has. He put it in a closet. He doesn't even look at it. I'm like, dude. I signed a magazine for him and sent it to him. And I'm like, Frankie, where's your magazine? He's like, oh, it's put away. And he's in like, a cabinet me. right behind It's like him. in a cabinet. And I'm like. <laughs> It should be on your desk, dude. It's like that's a should favor. be in a frame, like hung on your wall. I, like. <laughs> I mean, you have super fans, I'm sure. Like super, super fans. She does, definitely does. Yeah. I mean, that that must be like it's a funny experience to go through, but like, you know, you look super stunning and beautiful. Do you think it like forces you to always you know, stay in shape and do things because there's Yeah, like I mean, yeah, I think that, you know, obviously I don't want people to meet me and go, oh, you used to look pretty good, you know, but, you know, so yeah, I think I try to keep up, but I'm not going to be crazy and, you know, go to the extreme. I don't have to because I'm not, I'm not well known enough to worry about doing all these crazy things that they're doing now. And the thing is, is that the more you do it, the more you do all the funny fillers and, and now today you, it's so obvious because they, because they don't look like themselves and the more you do it, the more you have to keep doing it. So I'm trying so hard to like keep away from doing anything that's going to make me look distorted because that's what happens, you know, or not like yourself. Like yeah. And I'm like, I want to, you know, it's like, it's a catch 22. It's like, yeah, obviously I don't want to be all old and wrinkly and I want to, you know, try to maintain a youthful look, but I also don't want to look deformed. And I look at some of these people and I'm like, they don't even look like themselves. No, no. It's embarrassing. Honestly, yeah. it's embarrassing. Yeah. Just, yeah, I was just trying to think, I was just uh, trying to think of the actors that just got these weird cheek, cheek the, things. Well, that's, a and then, but, then, but then her lips look really funny. And I'm like, so then what probably happened is this didn't go so well. So now they've got to, Fill, you know, because if yeah. you, you know, we lose this and then when we try to fill it in, it just looks deformed. I know, you know, what's like the problem is all the blondes that are my age look exactly the same. Like, I admire them. I'm like, like right now, I can see, I, you know, I never put on enough makeup. I have really dark circles. And to me, I thought, like, when I looked in the mirror, that I had enough. So, you know, we live in a world where they're always like taking pictures of everyone. But all of the blondes I know are flawless that are my age because they've got their cheeks done. Like, they look good from every, yeah, society does. They look good from every angle. So they're like this and this and their lips are perfect like and yeah. 
I, I think, well, then, you know, I have my thin lips that I wish they weren't thin, but that's like my look now. And, you know, I wish my nose was shaped differently because I feel like I have like a little, I feel like this, like the lighting is even more. <laughs> but, you know, there's so much stuff that I'm like, that would be so yeah. cool if I did that. But, you know. I, and look, I here's the deal. I have the ass of a 20 year old. Oh, lucky. You, <laughs> so we're all good. We're all, we're all good because that, <laughs> We're all good. I, my ass is looking good. Can you so. do that one more time, Deborah? I know. For the audience, very, oh, you, you really do have the ass of a 20 year old. I do. I so, I, you know, I'm gonna, is, I, wanna I, don't, you. I don't want to be a beggar. You know, I don't want to beggars can't be choosy. Oh. It's hard to maintain that ass. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like, you know, I, I do think there's something to be said about like a youthful energy. So it doesn't matter really how much stuff you put on your face or what you yeah. do, but these girls are getting it so young that by the time you actually see them, they look ridiculous because yeah. you're like, I don't know where you go from here. You're 30 years old and you look my age because you did so much stuff to your face. So you're kind of like, you're flawless in pictures, but in real life, you keep staring at them like, yeah, you know, I, I just keep so taking the, it. So take it from this little oldie, <laughs> oldie, but goodie. Just leave yourself alone. <laughs> for the most part. I mean, for the most part, for the most part, I've got, I've got like blonde. I've always got to do my blonde. Roger, it costs a lot of money to be a woman. It's a lot of work, people. I say this all the time. Aging gracefully is a full-time fucking job. <laughs> it's so much. I also say, like, if you want to be a woman, great. Like, that's your right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, you got to go do all the stuff. Because that is actually a huge part of, the, I don't care if you're, like, not a woman even into it. It's constant. It's the shaving the legs of fixing. The, I, even on, like, a low end it's so much work. I try to give up certain, and I don't do like full makeup. So I can't even imagine, or I'm not very gifted with my hair. I do my nails though. Look at my God. See, me, I could be ready in like maybe 10, 20 minutes. Boom. <laughs> Hop in the shower, clean up, you know, gel but my hair. Way, I do that too, though. I yeah. do that too. I'll just throw my hair in a ponytail and put on jeans and put on my uniform and I go, you know, so I could do that too. But if I'm going out and I want, you know, to dress up, then I want the time to, to do that. But I can't, I'm also I'm not the I'm not the super high maintenance. Like if somebody says we gotta go, we gotta go. I'm like, all right, I'll yeah. throw my hair in a ponytail and we go. That's good. I don't like I, I don't like friends that take. I'm like, <laughs> please don't take a long. Like I can take yeah. 45 minutes. What do you gotta do? <laughs> I'm like, you should have perfected this by now. <laughs> After yeah. all these years, I right? Friend, it's so late, like two and a half hours. You go, you're a grown up. Like, you can't spend that long getting ready. This is like, no, no. I love it. All right, guys. <laughs> all righty, Sadie all right. Cats. Sadie Cats. Thank you for having me back. I can't wait to have you come to my birthday. I'm coming. Happy Roger birthday. Is too, but Saturday, Saturday. Yep. Saturday's the big night. Send me the info for Wednesday, and I will come after our live show. I love that. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for having me back. All right, thank, thank you. 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 Pre-order Megan. Yes. <laughs> you got it. We will do that. Bye. Bye. My, <laughs> my God. Great. You know, she's always so much fun to have on the so show. So delightful, so smart, so witty, so funny. And if you haven't seen it, I'm going to just repeat this again. You've got to see her Bill Murray Experience movie. It's so good. Oh, it's I really good. enjoy. I really enjoyed it. I watched it twice because yeah. I, I I liked what she was going for and what she 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 got me. I got teary eyed at the end. I was like, oh my <laughs> god, you know. And so yeah, it was really good. So I'm excited for her new projects coming out. Yes. I'm super excited for the stuff she's got going on with Jimmy Starr and Eileen Shapiro yeah. and yeah. So I'm excited. I'm going to go to her birthday party. That'll be fun. Yes. And then we're going to go party with her next Saturday night and then hopefully yep. she'll show up and she's not hung over. Maybe she'll show up for our live show next Sunday. Oh Beverly God, I, I better be careful too then. 
I forgot. I'm doing a live I'll show. I'll babysit you guys. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, I'm going to have to go search for a costume now. Uh, all right. John Capone will be here on Wednesday night. Oh, yay. Um, yes, that's right. So, so um, he's so just so everybody knows. So you'll tune in. Yes. John is the director of a movie that I just uh, worked on, which is called Neon Bleed. Neon Bleed. And mm -hmm. he was kind enough to give me a part in the movie. So we will be talking about that and all his other upcoming projects. It'll so be director, a lot of fun. Director, writer, producer, super talented. Awesome. All right. So, Deborah Driggs, thank you so so much <laughs> oh yeah, yeah oh yeah slap that ass <laughs> darren will be with us on wednesday frankie mcdonald thank you and of course the beautiful sadie cats until we meet again on wednesday night i'm roger the wild child love y'all peace out Yeah!